Kapowy wowie, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, we're back. And this episode is brought to you by Ting. Ting is the official cell phone of this podcast. The Jerrigan Experience. Um, I like that. Can you show that? I See how when it's tar- charging? This is my uh, my new phone. When it charges, it has this little thing that comes up from the charger that looks like a lava lamp. <laughs> it's fucking cool. I'm 12, by the way. I'm a fucking child. But uh, this, uh, this is uh, the official... Uh, podcast sponsor phone company and uh ting has uh sent me this one i really like this is the samsung galaxy s5 and what ting is uh is a cell phone company that uses a sprint backbone the way they do it is they rent time on sprint and then they do it by their rules and by their rules means no contracts no early termination fees and a very unique way they charge you the way they charge you is like it used to be like if you uh, had X amount of per minutes per month. If you went under that, you didn't get any money back. But if you went over that, you got some sort of overage fee that you were uh, you were hit with, and it was usually more money for those minutes than it was for your previous minutes, which doesn't totally make sense, right? Well, the way Ting decided to do it was just you pay for whatever you use, which I think is what everyone's going to do eventually. I mean, we we've talked about this ad nauseum on the podcast, but the best comparison that I can make is what it used to be like back in the day when you used to have what they used to call long distance fees. It used to call you, like when I lived in New York and uh, I would call someone that lived in Boston, I used to have to pay long distance. It wasn't a local call. Like if you wanted to call someone in California, it would cost you more. It sounds so stupid today, but back then that was with regular phones. And fucking God forbid if you called long distance on your cell phone back then. Good Lord, it was brutal. It was so, it was so expensive that sometimes you couldn't, didn't even have enough money to call somebody, and you would have to call collect. And collect calling yeah. cards were one of the biggest advertisements mm-hmm. in the rural. Every yep. commercial was. Yep. My, my, my mother made me send a letter because she didn't want to pay for wow. long distance. That's crazy. It was insane. Because <laughs> my spelling expensive. is so bad. <laughs> It was super expensive. Um, well, that's the best analogy that I can make. And I think that the way Ting's doing it, eventually that's how all mobile companies are going to do it. Uh, Ting, when you want to cancel, you just cancel. You own your phone. If you buy your phone from Ting, they activate it. You own it. And you can get, like, if you're a weirdo and you like fucking flip phones, they even have those. They have uh, the Samsung M400. A lot of people are going retro, Brian. A lot of people are they're going with two phones. They're going with a phone like this, like the Samsung Galaxy S5 for like their internet shit, their smartphones for their like email, and then they're going flip phone for calling. Just call me, bitch. Stop playing games. Only call me. Dana White buys them in boxes, old <laughs> refurbished flip phones. And didn't you just post something the other day about somebody who only uses pagers? Like the the founder? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah, some uh, guy who's a, a tech security expert. He won't use anything but a pager. Fucking <laughs> Too bad he can't weirdo. get in touch with anybody. Well, they can get in touch with him, and then he has to remember people's numbers, and then he has to go and buy like a a, a fucking dumper phone, one of those little phones you buy from like Seven <laughs> Eleven. He buys one yeah. of those, calls you, burns it, and that's it, and moves on to the next number. But using cell phone t- towers and triangles mm-hmm. and stuff like that, you'd still be able to find out where he is using the pager, wouldn't you? Oh no, 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 no. Pagers are a different animal. It's a different animal. They don't it doesn't use the have same the ability to transmit like that. No, no. No, Pager doesn't have GPS. Pager's missing a lot of stuff that they need, apparently. This is, obviously, I'm talking on my ass. I don't know if jack shit. But according to this security expert, I think that was the reason why he went with the Pager. Interesting. Well, let's find out. Let's, let's Google because, it. Because right I know that, that, that Pager's, like, I guess it sends out a signal going, hey, call this phone number. Uh-huh. And then... I guess there's nothing in the pager that says it received it, maybe. But I think I remember pagers having a, a receipt. No, I don't remember. Well, see, the whole pager business was going to go out and close everything, but they knew the one guy was still using it. Mm-hmm. So, right, they they're kept... still everything is still on. You know, doctors don't they? Doctors still use pagers a lot. Like if you always you're at the ER, you always see their they still have pagers. That's, for some maybe that's like in hospital. Maybe it can, like, go further than, like, cell phone signals where they might not get you or something. Does that make any sense? All right. No, I can't find this article. Uh, So go Google it, you fucks. Um, But the bottom bottom line is uh, the way Ting has their cell phone uh, service set up, it's advantageous to most people. 98% of people would save money with Ting. And if you go to rogan.ting.com, you personally will save 25 bucks off of any of their new awesome devices that's rogan.ting.com like i said they have all the like the high-end 
Android phones, all the really cool ones. And iPhone fives. Yeah, they have iPhone fives. You can buy them for two hundred fifty bucks. It's pretty goddamn reasonable. And you're not locked into some fucking contract. Nope, nope. it's yours. Throw in the toilet. Do you stick, th- stick it up your ass. Speaking of toilets, do you think all phones in like the next year are going to be waterproof? Because it seems mm-hmm. like it, that would make sense. Yeah, that's sense. the other thing I love about this uh, Samsung. This Galaxy S4 has a little tab on the bottom. You close the door, and it's water-resistant, quote-unquote, meaning that if I guess if you like open the tab and throw in the water, it's probably not so good. But right. it's better than you know any regular phone that's not protecting you. Yeah, my friend just dropped hers in the toilet, and I told her to suck the water out, but she wouldn't do it, so now her phone doesn't work. <laughs> oh, well, that's what backup's for, man. You don't have to suck toilet water. If I had a choice between <laughs> sucking toilet water or paying to get my phone replaced, I might have to go with paying to get my phone replaced over like some horrible intestinal disorder that you get from poop. I, Jesus, I won't even drop my phone in to suck toilet water. I mean, <laughs> how could you suck it out, man? I just well, don't because, know how you Because do it's either like, hey, do you, do you want to just... You know, take some mouthwash later oh, or, or pay 250 there? bucks. Put it in rice. <laughs> yeah, you got to well, put it in rice. That's what she did, but I didn't have any rice. I only had an old box of rice aroni, which should be the same thing, right? Yeah, there's rice. Yeah, the in word that. rice is in the right. fucking. Yeah, but I didn't know if they like put some other shit <laughs> if in. You it had and... a box of. <laughs> if you had a box. <laughs> Still didn't work. A box of Quaker oatmeal, right. maybe not, because it doesn't right. say rice. <laughs> All right, or maybe if you had fucking popsicles in the freezer. Right. The key word is rice. Yeah, I yeah. don't know if there was like a spice on that shit or not. I don't even know. Yeah, what there's rice definitely some spices on it, right? Okay. I don't know. Rice-a-roni? I don't even know what rice aroni is. It's a San really. Francisco treat. <laughs> that was like the big commercial when we were kids, man. Rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. Yeah, but why? Why is it San Francisco? I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense. Because there's trolleys in the lo- logo, I think. Yeah, but why? Maybe they invented it there. <laughs> yeah. Maybe invented it. I mean, what the fuck was rice aroni? Is that shit still around? Yeah. Just spicy rice, right? Just yummy rice. It's fucking. Anyway, rogan.ting.com. <laughs> We're also brought to you by Onnit. That's O N N I T. Last commercial. Onnit is a human optimization website. Uh, I've said this commercial so many times, it sounds like a, a robot thing coming out of my mouth. But what we try to do with Onnit is to sell the very best strength and conditioning equipment, the very best supplements, the very best, it's fun, it's like protein supplements or cognitive function supplements like Alpha Brain or Shroom Tech, all of it with references and research to whatever these individual supplements are supposed to do, like New Mood, the 5-HTP, and uh, L-tryptophan supplement that actually boosts your serotonin. There are certain products that you could take that are vitamins, certain supplements, certain certain uh, various nutrients that have been shown to have a direct effect on all v- various aspects of your body, strength and conditioning, um, endurance, um, the way your brain functions, and all of these studies that have been done are all available for your your um, discovery at onnit.com or your uh, research. If you're interested or curious um, as to what all these things are about, we also know that they're kind of these are controversial subjects. Saying things like performance enhancers for your brain is a lot like saying big dick pills to some people. They automatically their bullshit alarm goes off, and it should. Um, but there are certain nutrients that are called nootropics, and it's pretty much scientifically proven that they have an effect on cognitive function. It's been with double-blind placebo tests, um, both on individual ingredients and on like alpha brain as a as a combinatory uh, supplement. All if you're interested or you're curious in, in any way, go to onnit.com. O n n i t. And we also have a 100% money back guarantee. First 30 pills, you have 90 days to just say I, this didn't do shit for me. You don't have to return the bottle. You don't have to do anything. You get your money back. Our goal is just to establish a relationship with you. We're we're selling you the very best products that we can find that aid you, whether it's for, for conditioning, like kettlebells and battle ropes and all these different things, that uh, various tools that a lot of different people are using now for uh, strength and conditioning. On it has this new guy. His name is John Wolf. He's going to design all these courses for all these uh, exercises, for all these um, different um, various uh, strength and conditioning tools. And he put me through this fucking ridiculous workout when I was in Austin. Uh, it was all like hips. Everything he made me do was my hips. It's it's so weird. Like my ass was hurt in the weirdest way. Like my th- uh, upper 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 thighs and hips were hurting. What can he do with baby it's, making hips? Because I need to get rid of these. He can make your baby making hips. Well, look, uh, if you want to get rid of them, man, you just got to stop eating so much. That's it's super simple. Man. You the did whole it already. Fucking thing is fucking dying. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> sitting there going, "I'm gonna." Cross, I mean, I work out, but cross this and that. Look, you fucking buffet molesters. Stop fucking eating, and you won't gain weight. Yeah, and you'll lose weight. But it's hard to lose weight, because if you lose weight, you have to suffer. 
Is this that's the bottom line is you have to consume less calories than your body's burning. There's all sorts of ways you can trick your body, but the reality is you're going to want to eat more always. So you're going to suffer in a sense because you're going to have that sense. And you're like, fuck, I would love a burger right now. God damn it. Is this guy Wolf's, uh, is that his 